Welcome to the Adult Fans of Nerf Show. I'm Mr. K. I'm Mr. S. And today we're going to talk about the Zing brand bows. That's right. This is another fan request. Thank you guys for all your input, comments, questions. We love it. Keep them coming. Yeah, it's, it's uh, nice to get requests so that we can take a look at things that maybe we've cr we've glazed over, not paid much attention to, and that's really the case with these Zing products. Oh yeah, they're such a surprise. I've been impressed with these things from the get-go. We picked them up because of the fan request and on a whim, uh, something that we normally would have completely overlooked, uh, but I mean, wow, they're cool. Yep, and we managed to talk to the uh, PR guys at Zing and we got a couple of samples just to bolster our stuff because we couldn't really find all the stuff that we uh, wanted to get for this episode. They kind of seem to work this line a little bit as exclusives. You'll find uh, some of them, they have the Air Storm line as kind of a Walmart exclusive. They have the Air Hunters line, which is more of a sporting goods, Shields, uh, Cabela's type exclusive line. Yep, um, strangely enough though, the Air Hunters line is also available at Toys R Us, but not any of the other like Air Storm stuff. So. That is interesting. Um, <clears throat> so what they what what they are is is more of a bow and arrow style launcher. They they do mainly crossbows, slingshots, bow and arrows, and they really kowtow this as as a means of getting kids interested in archery. And as that, they 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 do a really good job. Absolutely. Um, one thing they don't do as well <laughs> is compete directly with. Nerf, Busby, X Shot, whatever, and that's um, with the little double shots pistol. Now, this guy is meant to be fired by squeezing the handle, so it's really dependent on how much power you squeeze the handle with um, and how far you push the dart into the barrel because it has to kind of make a good seal to get any kind of distance at all. It does have a decent enough suction cup on there. Uh, the darts will hit a flat surface and stick there for quite a while. Uh, but again, you know, it, the handle is completely hollow and it's mushy. It doesn't feel like there's much of anything there. Yeah, and I'm really worried about it squeezing it like too hard or something or like somehow just breaking this and then it's just completely worthless. Completely worthless. That's that's the that's the downfall I would see to this kind of a, of this kind of a blaster. It is a novel idea. It's, it's a unique approach at a dart blaster. The cool thing of it is is that it, it does have ammo storage for four darts, and it has a kind of a pseudo sight that's made out of a more rigid foam, similar to the um, the loading flights, if you want to call them, whatever they're called, that make the arrows work. And the arrows are. I, I would call them a knock. Almost. Knock? Okay, yeah, that'll Because the knock on an arrow is what grabs onto the bowstring. Yep. So I, w I would think, you know, they're, they're basically knocks on, on the arrows. Basically knocks on the arrow. That's a, that's a good thing to point out. And they, it's different because the knocks on these arrows are at the front, on the head, instead of in the back here. Um, that's due to the way that these fire using um, dual loops that you put these on, and uh, we'll talk more about it in detail. Uh, there, we've seen two different types of ammo uh, used with these, three if you count the slingshot, but we'll talk about that later. Um, they have a suction cup and a bounce back. Uh, the suction cups are a little unique, kind of weird, because the suction cups themselves are made out of foam. They're not made out of plastic, um, but they, they work really well and they'll affix themselves to a lot of flat surfaces, not just glass. They'll also, uh, you know, stick to plaster, drywall, any kind of a really smoother surface. Yep. Uh, the walls of the bunker are a little bit too rough for that, um, but uh, windows, uh, they stick to fairly well. Um, you do have to get them a little bit moist to make them stick a little bit better, because uh, with the foam, it doesn't quite create as good of a seal as with, uh, like, the rubberized plastic. Yeah, and that's Stuff just nerf. that's just due to the porousness of foam, but it but for what they are, they work really well. So I'll show you this guy first. This is from the Air Hunters line. All the Air Hunters stuff has camo and red and black plastic. Um, this is the zip back bow. Um, 
It has notches on either side of the hand grip that you can put uh, you can put these arrows on, and all of the art, all the ammo is coated in this this mesh. It's green on the Air Hunters line, and on the Air Storm line, it's orange. Um, this is the only thing that I don't like about the ammo, because from putting it on and taking it off, uh, it'll stretch, break, screw up the meshing. But the plastic underneath is is good enough to get the job done. It's probably not going to break anytime soon. So the way that this guy works, again, you can see the, the, the dual loops here made out of a silicone rubber latex, -y latex -y thing. We don't really know, but they're really good rubber bands. So you notch the arrow on here. When you give it some tension, it makes those arms go back. It's almost, it uh, looks and feels almost like your Hawkeye from the Avengers. And the cool thing about these is they'll they'll have as much power as you want to put behind it. So the further you pull, the more it'll go. And those things make a thud when they hit the wall. Or the indestructible glass target of awesomeness we have here in the bunker. And they'll they'll stick to most flat surfaces for a good few seconds and then they'll fall, but you know, they're they're cool. Oh yeah. Um the real interesting thing about these arrows, the bounce back arrows, oh, is the fact that they bounce back. Um, it's a nifty little gimmick, and when I heard about it at first, I didn't think it was going to be much, but um, it's amazing. You give, you put a, a squishier fur foam tip on this thing, and look out, because these things are a little unpredictable, and they'll bounce back almost as far as you shoot. They will... Almost. Well, they can bounce back and hit you in the face, so it's really kind of imperative that you're <laughs> careful and cower when you when you, after cover you fire. Because they bounce back quite a bit. Um, yeah, the the tips on these are unique and pretty cool because you can easily ricochet these things off of a wall and hit somebody around a corner. You can almost, if you try hard enough, I'm sure you can do some pretty awesome trick shots with these, just like with the Nerf Vortex line. Absolutely. But they're they're really cool. They're, they're rigid enough to not worry about breaking. And I was really worried about the flights to begin with, because if you know they're made out of knocks, what I call them, flights. Yeah, Flight, the flights. flights are back here, the knocks are in the front. I thought because they're made out of foam, these things are gonna shatter, they're gonna break, they're gonna rip off. But putting as much punishment as we put these things through, they're not gonna go anywhere. They're there to stay. They I don't know what they're made out of, some kind of god foam. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> But you don't even have to worry about, I mean, they're, they're so well constructed that even the, 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 the tips, you put them through a little bit of punishment, they're, they're not going to wreck themselves, they're not going to bend, break, whatever. They're very well constructed. Um, next, this is the ZX crossbow with the little bolts. These are basically like micro arrows and they, um, get this off of here. Yeah, careful with that. Yeah. <laughs> um, like the zip back bow, these have the these arm swinging arms that come out. Um, you put the ammo in, pull back, and with the with the crossbow, you put it on this little peg here, and it locks in a little hole. And then you have two triggers on the bottom. The first one is a safety. The second one is the trigger and. Yep, so you hit the first trigger that releases the safety. It won't fire unless you hit that first trigger first. And then you hit the second one and it's all bets are off. Oh yeah. So that's this was the first crossbow that, that we've got. And this is kind of its big brother. This is from the Air Storm line. This is the Z-Tech crossbow. And it's very you know, it's the it's basically the same thing. Same kind of pullback, arms, same notch, double trigger, everything. What makes this guy unique is this little button. You can't really see it because it's black on black. Oh, there's a little bit of red there. You can kind of see it. So you push this little button here and, oh, it extends. This is a really cool way to get a little bit of extra power on your bolts. So the way that we load this guy, and you can do it however you want. It'll work in pretty much any fashion you choose to load it. But we start in this position, grab one of the 
little bolts here. And I've, I've only seen the bolts in the suction cup ammo. I haven't seen any bounce back bolts yet. To the best of my knowledge, they don't exist yet. But hopefully... I'd like to see them because the, the bounce back is my favorite. So you pull it back, load it on that little notchy there. Then you hit the button and it's going to pull kind of hard because you're adding extra tension to those lines. And now you can let her fly and get a little bit more... Ooh, that's a good thud. A little bit more power with your shot. Um, and again, the Airstorm uh, crossbow, Airstorm bow, whatever it is, uh, Z-curve bow, is a Walmart exclusive to the best of my knowledge. Um, the Air Hunters is more of widespread to various um, sporting goods stores, uh, Toys R Us, Toys R Us. Uh, Target had it for a while. I haven't been able to find them at Target lately, but who knows if they'll bring them back or not during the summer. They are pretty cool. Um, with these, just one note that I want to make, I would not recommend these for aggressive indoor play. Uh, because they have a lot of force behind them, if you have any kind of breakables in the immediate vicinity of where you're playing, they are subject to shattering, breaking, bad stuff. Yes. So best recommended for outdoor play. Yeah, even now I'm a little concerned about playing with these in the bunker because we do use some lights when we film this and my camera and other various breakable things around here. But... <laughs> That one could have been really bad. Yeah, that one could have been bad. I'm going to stop doing that now. <laughs> Anyways, this guy is a Z-curve bow and by far the most powerful of the bows available. Um, as far as I know, it is available in the Airstorm and Air Hunters varieties. Which gives a little bit more flexibility, a little bit more availability also. Now, this guy has four of those tension bands instead of two. Uh, probably well, no, it's, it's the same. It works is it, the same is way. it? Well, it looks like it's got four. Well, no, it's it's it just curves around and loops back. It's basically the same, but with this one, this one has longer ones, so it can provide a, more power than the other ones. It really does give you more uh, power. This one is a lot more intent, you know, um, dependent. There we go. That's the word I was looking for. On how far you push back or pull pull back on it, the amount of force that you lend to it. And that, this guy will get the 150, 180 foot distance that it advertises. This thing is a beat stick, it's awesome. And as Mr. K is, de is demonstrating here, <coughs> ammo types are cross compatible. It's a little bit easier to use the bolts with the bows than to use the arrows with the crossbows, but it is possible. You probably, you, you can get the same amount of power with the arrows and the crossbows as everything else, um, but it's dependent because the um, shaft is longer, doesn't have the notch for holding it, you aren't, aren't using the trigger, you're just pulling back on the arrow in the crossbow and firing. Yep, it basically it's like using the, um, the zip back bow. Basically, like yes, yeah, basically like using the zip back bow with a better handle on it. My my only problem, and I'm going to say this now, with the zip back bow is when you pull it back. I think because it is such a tight little package, um, when you pull it back, it tends to want to curve in your hand. You have to hold it really, really tight. And if you have sweaty palms, it, it may flip around, and I don't know what'll happen, but it could be bad. Could be bad. Could just wind up flipping back and hitting in the face or something. Right. So there's, uh, aside from shooting arrows and bolts, they have one other type of blaster that shoots at a completely different kind of ammo, and that's this guy here. This is the Zingshot Slingshot from the Air Hunters for, uh, line, and it comes with three of these Red X ballistic ball -y type things. And it really does look like a ballistic ball about the same size as the Koosh Galaxy ballistic balls or the old school ones. What makes them unique is these little things matches yeah in the in the back and that's what makes it work it loads similarly to the other ones but instead of having two loops to grab onto there are these little pegs on the ends of the tension bands and you slide the the ball onto the tension bands pull it back and this is a really good toy slingshot it gets a fair amount of power the balls have good bounce back uh, very well designed, simple, fun to play with. 
Absolutely. And it's safe because you can't use anything but the balls in it. That's one unique thing and pretty cool thing about this line is the ammo is pretty, I mean, it's hard to fire these things with anything else but what comes with it. You couldn't very easily, unless you took a time to whittle your own, you know, custom crap to, to make things that'll actually hurt people. Yeah. Yeah, they're overall fairly kid safe and stuff, except for if you're on the other end of a uh one of the bounce back arrows, you know, get hit in the eye or I'm something. I'm sure if you got hit in the eye or clocked in the forehead with one of these things, I actually did get hit in the eye with one of them once, and it it hurt a bit. <laughs> yeah, it makes my eyes hurt just thinking about it. Oh, it hurt for a few minutes, but then it was over, and, you know, it you was You can still good. see? It's all good? I can still see. It's all good. I didn't lose an eye. I just got hit in the eye. <laughs> So, I mean, these things are really, really cool. Um, price point-wise, they're not too bad, uh, not, not too much damage on the, on the pocketbook. If you can find them, pick them up, because they're definitely, definitely worth trying out. We haven't done any, any uh, actual range tests on these, but these things will fly. Oh, yeah. And not only um, are they fairly inexpensive, they're really good quality as well. All the plastic, the foam, and everything is top-notch, on par quality-wise with Nerf, even though they're not a direct competitor. Yeah. Um, the latex things tension for the bands. tension bands, um, they haven't broken on us. They don't seem like they're going to break. Uh, when you pull them back too far, it really it kind of just stops you. Um, I can see with maybe extended use, they, there's a chance of them breaking. But uh, we haven't had any problems with them thus far. No, I'm sure over time and maybe with like poor storage, uh, there would be things that could weaken the quality of them, make them more apt to break. But all in all, the quality on everything about these is top notch. Absolutely. So check them out, find them in your stores, and go have some fun outside with them. Zing!